Kentucky, everyone, of course. Back in the kitchen with Alison Davis over here at Wild Time. How are you, my friend? I'm good. We've done some good recipes this week. Well, thank you. It's my influence, I think. Yeah, it must be. <laughs> 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 All right, what are we making today, my friend? All right, this is um, kind of a quintessential summer dish because it basically <coughs> just takes all the fresh vegetables out of the garden and puts it into one nice. little saute, and it's called succotash. Succotash? Have you had succotash? No, maybe not. No? I don't know. Well, it's really Once simple. you make this, I'll be able to say yes or no. Okay. Well, I'm starting with bacon because yeah. I think that every bacon makes everything better. Got you. Yeah, so we have bacon in the pan. And we've just browned it off. We're keeping some of the drippings. Yeah. And then we're just going to start building. So Keep. we can turn that back on. And I always start so with my onions one. first. And in this case, I'm using some shallots. Yeah. Just to kind of start to you soften those up. You want me to keep turning? Yep. You're just going to keep sauteing. And we're going to keep adding and building Shallots. This. Shallots. I like yeah. red so onions. They're kind of like a red onion, but they're a little yeah. bit milder. Yeah. Um, so I just took the peel off, cut both ends, and just did some nice thin slices. Will these get um, caramelized? They might uh, just a little bit, but yeah. we're just going to keep building. Okay. So in this, we're going to add some zucchini squash, some corn, some tomatoes. I'm going to cut up a, actually a little bit more green onion because I like uh, green onion in mine. Yeah. And I think what really makes succotash a true succotash is um, having corn with lima beans. So a lot of times you'll have lima beans or you may have some okra, okay? And okra is definitely like seasonal and this is kind of the time yeah, of year when I'm we start to Yeah, I'm not a fan of okra. I actually okra am not either. Okra or okra? Okra. Okra. I'm not a fan either because what happens when you cook it, it starts to get kind of slimy. And so I tend to leave the okra out of mine yeah. um, and just go with the lima no, beans. When I but first that's a personal... When I first moved to America, a buddy of mine made it, and I thought it was the most delicious thing I'd ever tasted. So I went and bought them. They've been slimy ever since. I do <laughs> not know how to make them, and I no yeah, longer Yeah, the only want way I kind of like them is fried, like we did the banana peppers. You can fry the okra oh. kind of like that, and that's really yeah, the I only... Yeah, I thought he put Ooh, them in careful, the microwave. I thought he put them in the microwave. Huh? I thought he put them in the microwave. I could be wrong. Not Maybe sure he fried them one. up. All right, so we're going to start... And I start can't ask him because he's now back in Australia. So oh. gonna... you okay? Well, you're doing me in the pan. I know, he keeps touching it. I know. We'll teach him one of these days. It he's... just gets so darn hot. So it's why adding... I don't cook. <laughs> so we're adding the corn. Um, I kind of save the, yellow, the zucchini squash towards the end um, yeah. because it softens up really quickly. Yeah. Um, some cherry tomatoes are going into this. Right. Again, this is really just like whatever you have around. If you've got some fresh garden vegetables, just keep building it, right? So this is a bit like bubble and squeak. I don't know. You've said that oh. before. Well, bubble and squeak is everything from the night before dinner. You put in the pan in the morning and you fry it all up. Kind of like that's... what we would call a hash. Yes, but yours is a lot fattier. <laughs> you put a lot more grease. Well, you got to have the bacon. Yeah, I know. Well, actually, we wouldn't put bacon. Um, so it'd be things like fried rice, mashed potato, mashed pumpkin. Oh, and it all goes together. It all goes together and you fry it all up. Oh, it's heaven on a stick. I think that would be like a bangers and mash kind of thing, right? Like um, English, you know, with Not the quite. sausage and the mashed potatoes no, and all that. No. Well, I tried. <laughs> I right. know. So, hey, do we have to put those things in? And what? The other things. No, we're not putting the okra oh, in. Good. That's just a personal preference. Again, I'm with you on that. Yeah. But I do like to season this up a little bit. I'm going to add some heat with a jalapeno pepper. Oh, I like that. We have some fresh basil in yeah. there. Um, salt and pepper, of course, no matter what. I'm not And very... then we're going to add a touch of vinegar to this. And oh, I are like you? apple cider vinegar. Yeah, it just okay. gives it a nice little pop. Um, okay. Nice little citrus action. What did you just put in there then? Salt and pepper. Oh, no, oh pepper, okay. Yeah. I saw you put the salt here. And I'm going in with just a touch of apple cider vinegar. I tell you what, it does look very good. Yeah, it's really colorful. It's a great side dish. And again, you can... Oh, it's a side dish? Mm -hmm. Well, it could it's be not a, meal a meal in itself. Yeah, it could be a meal in itself. But a lot of times you see this as a side. I've even seen this at some southern restaurants. They'll have succotash as their side. Um, and now I know what out. that is. Mm -hmm. um, I would have this over steak or something. Yeah, it's, it's lovely, isn't it? That vinegar is going to make me sneeze. <laughs> so, yeah, different combination of vegetables, yellow squash, onions, cherry tomatoes, 
limas, again, yep. whether All or right. not you like okra, go for okay, it. Okay, before I start sneezing, head over to WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. Get all the recipes there. Alison Davis back in the kitchen, my friend, right after this short break.